But it would flint, and you go, oh, I thought there was a spark between us. I'm gonna figure it out now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at the tail end of 2008, we'd been touring on our first LP Elephant Shell for a long time. And uh, we'd sort of just been tapering off to a halt when they asked us to go on this, this Canadian tour called Jingle Bell Rock, which is a tour that goes across Canada in December, which is about as good an idea as it sounds. Um, and so, but it was really, it was with Metric and the Deers and Sebastian Granger, so it was a really cool bill and we thought, you know, let's, let's do it, it could be fun. And so we, uh, we hopped in a bus and the temperatures in Canada in December, particularly in the prairies, uh, make this cold day in Austin look like a normal day in Austin compared to most places. But anyway, so we had, we were just playing mostly elephant shell material, but at some point, and I don't remember when. We started putting in like new songs that we were writing. And End of a Spark was the first new song that we, it wasn't the first new song we wrote, but it was the first one we got to a point where it was playable. playable I think live. it was the first, one of the, one of the first ones. Yeah. So, uh, and so whenever we play End of a Spark, it still makes me think about being in these venues where, you know, the heater had stopped working. We were in Winnipeg, it was like 50 below out. And they're like, yeah, the heater in the venue doesn't really work right now. We just don't have heat. Like, yeah, that's it not super cold. And it's all like you're things. in a meat freezer. And that was before we realized that I could potentially play guitar on song. So I think I was actually playing Jingle Bells yeah. for mo most of End of Spark when we originally we had, did, like, which was we, a bad idea. I feel like we had like too much of an attachment to being like this austere four piece and like keyboard player kid plays keyboards. Um, but yeah, Graham plays guitar and a whole bunch of stuff now. So but yeah, so they had this this big Christmas tree they would bring and put beside the stage, and uh, and it would be freezing cold. And that's just I, whenever we play that song, I just think of this Christmas tree and being cold and hitting jingle bells. And then I also remember that then in March we toured it and we played it in some sets and we played it at Webster Hall in New York, and they had uh, I just remember like that was the first time we like played like a new song and like seen the lights. For it. I remember watching the lights oh, yeah. on YouTube and they all went like. Oh, that was cool. cool. Yeah, it was really sweet. It was, it was cool, like, uh, uh, I don't know. I guess we were making that record and we just dreaming about what it would be like when it was done, seeing that, like... And End of a Spark, I remember the End of a Spark was really there from the, through the whole thing. And it, of all the songs, it kind of changed the least, too. I mean, I yeah, feel totally. like so we did have some idea where we were going at the beginning, at least. And, um, and that was how we defeated the Russians. Two, two. Three, four. Spend all our Sundays in a row Ten feet from Chinatown Like it's dead Put you to bed, your great grandfather always said, Wasting is an art, like the nights we spent in bags of cars. A piece of pie, the end of our spark. A piece of 
I'm gear I'm a spool of thread As long as my teeth ain't turn You'll always be nearly words Being of a spark A flash in the dark